I have already used Peltier elements in two previous projects. When you apply a voltage across the element, one side cools down and the other heats up. This effect also works in reverse. So if you apply heat to one side and cool the other down, we can measure a voltage across the element. The greater the heat difference, the higher the voltage. So it should be possible to build a generator out of Peltier if we can generate the heat difference great enough. First off the heat source. To make things easy, I built a tiny furnace out of metal profile. I chose to go with a small rocket stove. Their heat causes the air to rise and draft fresh air in from the bottom. This causes a very efficient and smokeless burn. To fuel the fire, you just put in wood through the side channel. The mesh at the bottom, which keeps the burning wood in place, could be a bit coarser to allow for more air to go through it. To make things lighter and more portable, I would leave out the side channel and also make the thing out of aluminium. But as I already struggled with welding steel, I chose to settle with this. The Peltiers are clamped to the side of the furnace. I used three of them in series, which are covered on both sides with thermal paste. I also sanded the side of the furnace for optimal heat contact. To cool one side of the Peltiers down, I'm using two water blocks. The idea here is that you build this up next to a creek and then siphon the water through the blocks. Another option would be to use passive or active air cooling. But I wanted to hold off on that, as I was a bit pessimistic about the power output. I used two plastic spacers here to ensure the clamping force was perpendicular to the blocks. The water blocks are then connected in series. I fired up the stove and let it reach temperature. Without load I measured an impressive 12 volts. After connecting a 10 ohm load, the voltage dropped to 5.5 volts, thus generating 0.55 amps and a power of 3 watts, which is sufficient to charge a modern smartphone. But before we can connect the phone to it, we need a way to stabilize the output voltage. A simple 5V regulator would be an option, but I rather use a boost buck converter with some charging circuitry, as not all USB devices allow full on charge without it. But this all has to wait for a second part. See you next time.